James Turner and his younger brother Rostam are doing some light workouts at the Apple Bowl. They are the number two and three ranked decathletes in the nation behind only Damian Warner, the Canadian record holder. For James, it's a critical time to reflect on what could have been and what lies ahead. The 22-year-old was primed for success when he went to the Nationals in Ottawa. Attempting to meet the Olympic standard of 8,100 points, he pulled up lame with a hamstring injury in the 400, a first day race, and that was it. I was on track for a pretty good score. I would have had to really put some together to score 8,100 on day two. He had a worse hamstring injury three years ago and is pretty confident he can overcome this one in a hurry. It's in the running events that he will feel that the most. Shot put, discus, javelin, pole vault probably won't be that bad. Don't really test it. So it's those events where you're really going, you know, 100%. You don't want to be inhibited at all. So those are events like the 100, 400 hurdles. Turner feels he will be ready for one last kick at the can for Rio. That comes in the form of the Kodiak Achilles Open Twilight in Moncton this week. Given that Olympic opportunities come along once every four years and decathletes have a short window, he is eager to do well in New Brunswick. I mean, the keys get healthy, so that's number one. Uh, after that, I, I got a high jump high. And everything else just kind of has to come together pretty, pretty well. And, you know, there's that 8-1. He's really fast. So uh, <laughs> in the 100 and 400, he pushes me in all the running workouts. Uh, he's got really good technical grasp in all of the field events. James excels at the running events and the long jump. Until this year, high jump and pole vault were the two sports that held him back. And he spends a lot of his training working on those events. You usually hit each event maybe two times a week. The ones you're a little bit weaker at, you might do three, three to four hours a day. So six days a week, sometimes you're doing two sessions a day. So it, it's, it's a lot to train for. As decathletes tend to peak a little later than the other track athletes, James might have a better shot at Tokyo. The Kelowna born and raised athlete graduated from KSS in 2011. He attended university in Texas before settling on the University of Toronto where he is working on a degree in kinesiology. There he also trains in the 10 different disciplines of decathlon where the participants are sometimes referred to as the world's greatest athletes and compete against the points system rather than each other. You're competing against all these guys and you just respect them. You want them to do well. Whereas, you know, other events, it's you, you against the other guy kind of thing. Cathlon is such a, you know, untamable beast that everyone's sort of, you know, in it together. No one really has the perfect decathlon. Turner grew up playing a lot of team sports such as soccer, rugby and basketball before finding track. He initially excelled at the 200 meters long jump and discus. So in effect, the decathlon wasn't an extreme leap. It was a famous shot putter that got him steered to this sport, where at first he didn't really want to train for 10 different events. Actually, Dylan Armstrong was the first one I really listened to. And, you know, he was saying, hey, you know, don't be a discus thrower, you're not big enough. You, you know, try out for the calf line. So ever since then, I've, I've been doing it, been, you know, working hard, trying to get those 10 events together. 